us today. Uh, uh, what I wanted to do was, and I did send this out earlier, I added one more item to it. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the schedule and then the boats, uh, talk a little bit about the registration, make sure we have our plan B in set or site B, one of the two, uh, and then our supplies and our press release. Uh, and I thought we'd start off with our introductions just to make sure everybody knew who was who on the line. And I'm David Wixon, an advocate for the river. And John, you're on. Okay, I'm John Nation, and uh, I'm an advocate for the river. <laughs> <laughs> and Susan Griffin. Hi, I'm Susan Griffin Ward, and I am the Community Engagement Director at Kentucky Waterways Alliance. And uh, Kenton Wooden. Hi, right, Kenton Wooden with the Falls of the Ohio Foundation. All right, and uh, Becca. Hey, I'm uh, Becca Truman. I'm with uh, Salt River Watershed Watch. Lisa Freeman. I'm Lisa Freeman uh, with the Corps of Engineers, uh, River Ranger with the Locks and Dams. And Jessica Kane. I am Jessica Kane. I'm the Program Manager with uh, Natural Areas Division with Metro Parks. And David Grissom. I am David Grissom. I'm with Jefferson Memorial Forest as well as the Recreation Supervisor. Uh, I just wanted to also apologize once again for sending out two URLs. I have computer problems in my paradise and I'm rather, I'd rather be on the river, but that's just me. <laughs> uh, uh, just to say to go through this pretty quickly, uh, uh, we had several discussions uh, with a variety of groups. And one issue that we'd like to talk about is a press conference in some way, shape or form. Uh, and uh, it was suggested that having the press conference instead of meeting out on Sand Island might reduce the number of people who could attend. Uh, and so the suggestion was made to have a send off, Earth Day send off at 930, thereby people could meet at Shawnee Park uh, have a little press release and conference right there where the new Shawnee Outdoor Learning Center is going to be and the boat ramp and have all our boats ready. So from 9.30 to 10, we'd have comments and uh, invite a variety of people and have a press conference. Uh, uh, and so uh, that's sort of open for discussion. Uh, it, people like the idea. Uh, and so I wanted to see what everybody thought here. Before we do that, we had two other people join us, and that's uh, Brewster. Brewster, who are you, Brewster? Brewster Miller here. I'm with uh, Wood McKenzie and River City Pedal Sports, and uh, here to listen and all about this Earth Day planning. And so Lori that's... Roberts. There Sorry, I had, to find, I, had to, I had to refine my unmute button. Uh, Lori Roberts, Interim Director at Brightside, and um, we are providing bags and post-event litter collection for the event. Uh, and so just any comments on this idea of a press release, press conference uh, at 9.30 to uh, 9.45, 9.50, whatever it is? Uh, and then we get into the boats and paddle on off if the river if the river is in good shape. I think uh, it would be a, a nice visual for us having a send off. I think that's a good idea, David. John Nation here, um, but I think we should also allow anyone who would want to come to Sand Island that opportunity. Well, it, the problem is is that we're basically getting full with the number of people who've registered already, so. Uh, uh, we don't have, you know, people have to have their own boats. So it's an onshore cleanup uh, uh, or have their own boats uh, or we get some more boats, uh, uh, which is a possibility. You know, we have other tandem canoes, but it adds complication. Okay. So everything should be pre-registered. I think that's what we're saying. Uh, if we do go with this, I would certainly welcome any uh, uh, help in thinking about this press uh, conference. Uh, 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 Jessica and I have been going back and forth a little bit with a press release, which is 
down here at the very bottom when we uh, sort of get to that and Metro Parks has developed one and we just want to talk a little bit about that process. Uh, and then we just paddle upstream and uh, if we do have our press conference in advance, our celebration will turn a little bit. And many thanks to Susan Griffin Ward, who is arranging with uh, their artist in residence, uh, uh, Al Gorman, to possibly help with a, uh, a nature-based sculpture dedicated to the Ohio River on the shores of Sand Island. Uh, uh, Susan, anything to say about that? Uh, no, not really. I spoke with him um, the end of last week about it, and he told me he had filled out the registration form, and yep. so I was uh, encouraged by that, and he is um, willing to kind of do it on the fly based on, you know, whatever materials are available and is used to working with groups, so um, he feels pretty comfortable about the idea. Um, he is not a uh, seasoned or I, um, he has not done very much paddling in the past. So he's a little concerned about the um, canoe portion of the, the trip, but I assured him that I thought that would be okay. So uh, we could uh, 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 put him in the center of the boat and he doesn't have to paddle even. That's the advantage of having these bigger boats. That's great. Uh, yeah, I, I'll mention that to him. <laughs> Uh, and, and so uh, we also have another person just joining us, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Skaggs, uh, and Mr. Skaggs is with the Clarksville Rescue Department. Uh, welcome. Would you like to introduce yourself? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. My name's uh, Brandon Skaggs. I'm chief of the Clarksville Fire Department. Um, I got a late invite to this by Mr. Wicks. Um, but I'm just here to support and uh, help your help your event go well, um, and maybe provide some uh, rescue support on the river during uh, one of your Earth Day cleanups. I think it's a, a great idea. I actually like what you're all doing too. I'm a I'm a Boy Scout, and uh, I'm big in um, conservation and and uh, service. So thank you. All right. Well, why thank you very much. And just to let everybody else know, we have talked with the Louisville uh, 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 Water Patrol and uh, uh, it's the day before thunder. Uh, so they are going to be preoccupied, but they are uh, alerted. Uh, and if we do have any problems, they can zip on down, they say. And then also we'll have the Corps with a motorized boat. Uh, Mr. Jackson, you joined us. Yes, sir. And could you introduce yourself to the crew? Yes, uh, my name is Thomas Jackson. I'm filling in for Evan uh, here at Taylorsville Lake, uh, currently serving as the project manager. That's right, that's right. Okay, thank you very much. And he's actually, believe it or not, over the whole Ohio River, or uh, you know, the Falls of the Ohio National Wildlife Conservation Area. So he's the property manager and, and uh, we thank the Corps for all their support for sure. Uh, uh, and so, uh, then, so the question really comes in is when do we have a gathering on the island? So the sort of the current idea is we land and got garbage for a while uh, uh, and while people are building this sculpture uh, and then we have a celebration at the end of it. Uh, we're asking people to bring a lunch to share and we could have some sort of very pleasant little deal. I have recruited uh, Tracy Barnes who's on the River City Paddle Sports Board and She's agreed to help think about some sort of little uh, celebration piece. So if anybody else wants to help with that, that's, that's great. Uh, and then we just drive back or paddle back down to the Voyager canoes uh, uh, or, and the big boats. Uh, and one of the big questions we have, and uh, maybe Jessica or David, you could fill in on this, uh, a number of uh, big boats from the Metro Parks. We'll have four Voyager canoes with, J uh, with River City Paddle Sports. And how many boats do you think you can bring with you? Because that's part of registration. Yeah, I think uh, in total, we said a maximum would be, it'd be four uh, is how many boats we have. Uh, it's gonna be, you know, based on everyone's availability, that's in the training next week. Uh, 
and how many we can have. We can have, uh, I think we're looking at having four staff needed to do four capacity, four boats. So uh, at a minimum, we need four people who are trained on the big canoes. And so I think out of next week's class, we'd be able to confirm that up with anybody that's able to paddle on those. Well, that's perfect. That's perfect. And then, of course, we'll have people uh, uh, in individual boats and uh, uh, doing that. I wanted to jump on. Any questions about sort of the main part of it? Any thoughts? Uh, we did do a scouting trip, and many thanks to John Nation yesterday. He took a lot of photographs, and I sent around uh, the uh, uh, the link with the photos in it. Uh, and uh, there is trash to pick up. We were all concerned that uh, it was going to be beautiful and not one piece of trash, and what were we going to do? But uh, 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 relatively, you know, it's pretty clean, really. The entire river, the entire island was underwater, so it swept pretty clean. Uh, uh, but there's enough for all of us to pick up for sure. Any comments, John, uh, uh, about the uh, uh, scouting trip yesterday? Nothing I can think of. It's going to be heavy what we bring out of there, so we've got to prepare for that. Um, it's going to be a lot of stuff to take out. And there's a couple uh, embedded 55-gallon drums and tires, so we'll bring some shovels and things like that as well. Shovels and gloves. One piece that was necessary that we want, looked at yesterday, we did change our pieces, and Lisa, I'm sorry that you didn't to join us, but uh, uh, the current is an issue. So what we did yesterday, we put in at Blackstone Mill and paddled down Silver Creek four miles and then got to the river and paddled across. Yesterday it was flowing probably about three and a half miles an hour uh, and it would have been uncomfortable. So it would have shifted if that was the case to plan B, uh, which is Falls of the Ohio. So Kenton and I yet, uh, Friday met with uh, Alan uh, Goldstein uh, there at the falls, and we have a pretty good plan. Uh, there's one thought that we wanted to just bring up, and that is, do we call it Plan B or Site B? Because uh, uh, the Falls of the Ohio has hired a new uh, person who does community outreach, who starts next week. Uh, and so can, you know, does it spread it out too much? if we have two spots or do we have enough capacity to do whatever we want to do? So Kenton, any observations about plan B uh, uh, and your thoughts about plan B or site B? I, I think I'm, I'm totally okay with whatever we choose. If we choose it as an alternative site or just, you know, as a secondary site, um, plenty of trash here at the falls to be picked up and, um, you know, I think the only question that we have still is sort of maneuvering around since it is the Friday before Thunder Riverside Drive may be shut down at some point on Friday. So trying to figure out what that timing is and then how we get sort of people routed around. There will be a back way in, but just communicating that. So, um, so yeah, sort of whatever we think. If we think we want to call it Site B and sort of spread groups out, we're fine with that option. But one suggestion was to have a kickoff at 9.30. And then if people are off at that press conference and they want to go to the Falls of the Ohio and want to stay there, you know, they could also stay in Shawnee Park too. Uh, you know, so people want to do an onshore piece, you know, uh, uh, so it's easy because uh, the, the Falls of the Ohio will have a dumpster. Uh, and so we just put any trash we pick up into the dumpster. One of the conditions was that People well, don't pick up trash and then leave it in a bag down on the rocks or by the falls. Uh, uh, they should, you know, only get a half a bag and carry it. Uh, uh, so we make sure we dispose of it. Any thoughts about, you know, two sites? From my perspective, the only thing that I really need to know is if we do do two sites, um, Falls of the Ohio. We'll obviously have a dumpster. We just need, I just need to know all of the places that bags will be after the event so I can have uh, the solid waste crews set to pick those up. Uh, if, if, if the site is over at 
uh, the Falls of the Ohio, they will pick up their own trash. So uh, uh, all we would need to do is to get the bags, you know, in advance. Uh, uh, and so I don't think that would be a big issue at all. Would there be, um, a question I have is, would there be a separate registration for the second site? And would that be confusing <laughs> to people? I don't know, just a thought. You know, and is the question is, is the registration for the, paddling part of it and the other onshore pickups are show up uh, uh, a Facebook mm -hmm. you know event could be set up for it and it you know so you don't really have to register in advance even though it's nice to know how many people are coming but uh, 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 it's a good question I was going to ask David, uh, just logistically, if we're doing a, a site B or a plan B to go to Baltimore, Ohio, are we planning on uh, still putting in at Shawnee and crossing the river to go to Falls? Are we putting in at the Falls? What would be the best course uh, of action for that day? Uh, David, the only purpose of doing plan B is in case if the river is such that we cannot canoe. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. And so if we can canoe, you know, and basically it's, we use 2.5 miles an hour uh, uh, in current. Uh, uh, and then uh, yesterday it was at 27.5 feet on the lower gauge and the, the uh, uh, sand beaches were there and it's very easy. So it's really anything below 27 feet. You know, once you get up into no sand beaches, not a good place to land. Right, okay. So plan B and what we'd like to do is to have a meeting maybe on the 20th that Wednesday beforehand just to make sure everything's in place and we should know what the river is doing by then. Yeah, I think we should keep it uh, to just plan A with plan B known to ourselves and then on the 20th make that decision. How about having people just go over to the falls, John, uh, without being involved with us at all and having a cleanup over there? Or does that make it too confusing? No, I think that's great. Clean up the falls too. Kenton, you want to make that final decision? Yeah, I, let's just, I think maybe we just do that. We keep plan B to ourselves. I'll talk to the state park folks about maybe we just make a cleanup event for 10 to 12 that day. Um, see if they want to put that on their Facebook page and then they'll be set up for it. And then if we have to switch our plans and we become the primary site on Wednesday, then everything will already be in place. That sounds good. So that's a pretty big uh, uh, process really then for the press release to make sure it's clear and succinct uh, uh, of, of both of these options. Uh, uh, any other thoughts? Uh, uh, you know, cause we could, you know, it's just picking up trash. There's no problems with doing anything really with that. Uh, how about supplies? So, so we have now the bags. I guess we're all set with that, uh, Lori. And then we have uh, 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 the uh, t-shirts uh, and uh, uh, gloves from Orsanko. And so we'll get those picked up in advance. Uh, and then we have to figure out shovels. I don't know, Lori. Do you have a stash of shovels sitting around? Uh, uh, what type of well? So we do have some shovels, but they are not like we have some scoop shovels, which are more like snow style shovels. Um, and then we have we do have some like spade shovels, but we typically use those in our tree planting. So what are they going to be used for? <laughs> uh, a, a spade would be perfect. Just a couple of them. That's all we would need, okay. and it's for yeah. like. If there's a tire that's dug into the ground and it's easier to dig out, that's all. Yeah, uh, uh, I can, yeah that's no problem. I'll give you a couple shovels. Sounds great. We'll and have to be very limited on digging. Very limited and limited on digging, huh? Okay. Uh, what happens, Lisa, if there's a- probably could. It would be 
probably could dig out the tire. The 55 gallon drums we'll have to look at if there's stuff in them we probably should leave them there since we won't know what is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one thing we will do, Lisa, is uh, with your schedule, we'll plan a uh, alternate, uh, you know, another scouting trip to go up in, in or, or, you know, in May or April and look at it and instead of just say, don't do that, you know, we'll leave that there. Thank you very much, Lisa. That, that's a good point. Uh, anything else on supplies? And then uh, uh, Metro Parks and River City Paddle Sports will have first aid kits. Uh, uh, and and we'll bring some water along. Any other thoughts on that? Uh, you know, one thing I just wanted to share, you know, and I did send out Mr. Nation's photographs, uh, but these are some of the pictures, uh, and there is some mud there, just to let everybody know. So, uh, uh, you know, it's a pretty nice sandy beach, but, uh, and this is with 12 feet uh, uh, of water higher normal in that normal it's a foot above normal pool so this beach goes out probably another uh uh 50 yards at time so it's a big 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 sandy beach uh lots of trees this is probably our number one problem really on the cleanup is people old people like me climbing over these logs uh, uh and slipping uh, uh john just catches those things but, you know, lots of nice trash uh, uh, up in the trees. Uh, and notice uh, uh, the, this was under flood water here. So uh, in April, the, the ground cover will be starting to pop up, uh, uh, stinging nettles and stuff like that. So, you know, there won't be that much, but that undergrowth will be more than what it is here. Uh, lots of basketballs. Uh, this area right in here, this hall up in here is one big sandy beach. And this is where, uh, uh, Susan, I thought we could do the, uh, 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 the, the sculpture, the, the collaborative sculpture. Uh, oh, just that sounds nice, great. A nice little spot overlooking Lewis and Clark Island. Lewis and Clark Island was totally underwater. Uh, and so uh, we, we couldn't go to there anyway, but just lots of wonderful trees. Here's John picking up, and you know, there are some uh, dead dolls there that Al Gorman <laughs> could certainly use. Uh, and so it's just, you know, nice little uh, uh, pictures. But as you notice, walking around in these uh, piles of wood is where people twist ankles. So we just have to mm -hmm. be careful about that and uh, uh, utility work ahead. Another little Al Gorman <laughs> doll. Uh, uh, and just, you know, lots oh, wow. of ducks and everything else. So it's just a fun deal. Uh, and then uh, enjoying ourselves on the river. Uh, and so Mr. Nation didn't take this photo, by the way. Uh, Michael Gage took this one. Uh, uh, and so it just worked out well. Uh, so uh, the uh, last thing on my agenda really is this press release. And so thinking about our plan B and thinking about uh, uh, you know, as the most of the Voyager canoe space is filled already, it's really encouraging people to bring their own boats or up on shore. Uh, second part of this press release that I just wanted to make sure people were comfortable with was at referring the press instead of to me as organizer of this uh, to all of you. Uh, because I think that's what really this is about. It's the work of the Falls of the Ohio Foundation and the Waterways Alliance and the Metro Parks and the Salt River Watershed Watch and Brightside because it's a community thing. So, you know, figuring out how to put this press release that all of you guys are the contacts. And so it'd be sort of an interesting way of getting a variety of stories printed about uh, the river, the Falls of the Ohio, and the problem that litter causes for us. Any David, thought? <laughs> yes, John. I, I think we might have to take a, I hate saying this, but a couple runs to pick up the, uh, the garbage, you know, take people back and then some of us that are more capable going back and picking up bags that have been left on shore, I think it was gonna be that much. Let's talk to uh, Lisa, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Lisa has arranged for a, uh, a motorboat from the Corps 
transfer the garbage that we pick up from uh, Sand Island down to Shawnee Park where it can get up. Uh, and so how big of a boat is that, Lisa? And we make two runs or can we sort of pick up trash from 11 to 1 or 11 to 12 and fill up the boat and they go drive on down with somebody to unload it and come back up and get a second load? Um, yes, I think we could do that. Uh, Thomas, if you want to chime in, uh, the boat, so shoot, it's about 18 foot long. It's a, a fairly large John boat, so we've got lots of open space uh, to pile up trash bags. Um, but I would think we could make, you know, a couple runs, however many runs we need with it. Okay, that sounds great. Good question, John. And then we just have to sort of make sure we have somebody down at Shawnee Park during the day uh, to help unload. Uh, and so we don't overwork the core people. Uh, any uh, Anything else for the good of the order here? Let's, uh, uh, well, I do have one question before and that is uh, uh, Jessica and I have been working on this press release. Does anybody want to help craft it? We'll send it around for comment and then get, get it on out to everybody. But are there press related people who like to make sure the message gets clear and succinct? Mr. Wicks, this is Brian and Skag from Clerksville Fire again. Yeah. Um, it's not just jumping in here. It's not a press related. Uh, Bit of information but i did just confirm with the deputy chief of the police department and you should not have any access uh restrictions to uh, the interpretive center of the falls of ohio the day that day um we're not closing riverside drive and we're closing it from the l and i train bridge to main street so you'll have total access for your workers or uh, volunteers coming into that uh, site dean so if people want to pick up just upstream of the Falls of the Ohio at that park right there. That's no <clears throat> problems at all. Is that, what's the name of the park, Kenton? Ashland Park. Ashland Park. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you'll be able to have foot traffic in Ashland Park, uh, but you won't be able to have vehicular traffic. Um, that's the portion that they're gonna be closing. But if they walk that down just, you know, a few hundred yards to one of your all's, or to one of the parks, uh, you know, you can pick it up in a vehicle or something like that. So anything west, anything west of the LNI train bridge will not will be unaffected that day. East of the train bridge will be closed down at noon. At noon. Yeah. So if and our event goes from 10 to noon, there's no problems at all. No problem at all. Um, and there'll be quite a bit of traffic down there because um, you'll get your people that are coming out to watch the air show practice. And sure. this is the the 75th anniversary of the Air Force, so we're kind of expecting a bigger air show than normal. Well, just to let you know, and no offense against the riverfront of uh, Clarksville, but uh, uh, it's better to be on Sand Island to watch these air shows, you know? Oh, I bet. I bet. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Uh, well, let's go on around the table here just to make sure we have all of our comments. We're gonna start off with Becca. Any thoughts, Becca? Any uh, uh, questions? No, I'll just follow your lead, thanks. Uh, David Grissom, any thoughts or questions or ideas? Yes, I do wanna follow up about our uh, big canoe capacity with alongside your Voyagers. You said you had 45 registered. Um, was that included on your I guess I'm trying to make sure we know how many people are registered for both of our sets of boats. So we're, we don't like over overbook ourselves here. You're hundred percent right. And uh, uh, how, I, how the registration is, David, it's set up that it does not say if it's a Voyager canoe or a Metro Park big canoe. Uh, uh, and, and so it is uh, 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 pretty straightforward. I did, uh, let me just share one more thing here. Uh, and so I did do this little PowerPoint deal here. And so, oops, so we have our uh, uh, 44 registrants for the Voyager canoes or big canoes, three personal craft, three motorized boats so far. Uh, there was a bunch of questions on there as well, which I'll formalize set up. 
This is how familiar you are, how familiar you are with the Falls of the Ohio National Wildlife Area. Uh, and so it's about what I thought it would be. Uh, some people never heard of it. Some people, oh, it's there. Uh, uh, but no one really is an expert, which is sort of interesting to me that uh, uh, no one can name all the trees and plants and stuff like that. Uh, this is another one that I'd love to figure out how to make sure our press release uh, 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 represents this. And this is how familiar are you with the other events? Uh, uh, and so one person who's coming on a cleanup, never heard of any of them. Uh, uh, and so it sort of goes up the middle, uh, uh, which I just sort of found interesting. Uh, and then this one here, you know, these are the crews here that are our co-sponsors. Uh, and there's a lot of people who want to get more information about our work uh, uh, and all of your work. Uh, and so how we take full advantage of that uh, is a question. Uh, uh, and so that's just, uh, uh, that, that's, that's the goal. And for me is in addition to picking up trash is how we can get people working together around the Falls of the Ohio National Wildlife Conservation Area. Uh, well, we started going on around the room here. Uh, Brewster Miller, any uh, observations? Um, I guess my first question would be is, uh, I'm sure you have some sort of email distribution for all the people that have volunteered. Uh, and is that currently being sent out? And uh, are, there, it, are there opportunities for people to join uh, that maybe aren't on their list on the list already because it's already full or how does that work if uh, the list does get full and well yes when people register we do have their emails and i do communicate saying thank you for registering uh and what we have to do is really get with david and i uh, david grissom and find out what is the maximum capacity for our boats uh and we go from there as i said we have 45 registered for the boats uh and i think if we have all four Metro Parks boats and the four River City Paddle Sports boats, we can probably accommodate about 60 people. Uh, uh, and so there's another 15 people. Uh, and so how I thought of it, uh, Brewster, was through our co-sponsors encouraging them. So if anybody knows other people who are with one of these associations, you know, you know have those folks register if they want to. Uh, the disadvantage with going out to the public is we would sort of not, you know, they say, oh, come and sign up. It's all already filled up. Uh, uh, and so what we're advertising is it's just like the hike, bike, and paddle where people have to bring their own boat. Uh, uh, you know, and we do have, you know, the feasibility of I talked to uh, one of the canoe companies and they could bring some canoes to rent. But uh, there's a good chance in April the river's chilly and so... We want to have winter boats out on the river that early. And so I said, keep it simple. Uh, and if you have your own boat and you are comfortable, go for it. Uh, and and so, so unfortunately, the bottom line is there's only 15 spots left. Okay. Uh, Thomas, any other questions or thoughts? Well, the only thing that I see that is new is the sculpture. What type of sculpture are we talking? Um, well, I'll try to answer that. Um, so Al Gorman creates um, art from found objects, and his, um, his usual spot for doing this is the Falls of the Ohio State Park. And um, so he just uses whatever materials, um, things like the dolls that you saw in the pictures, that David just showed, or um, sticks, rocks, um, uh, balls, um, styrofoam, you know, anything that you can imagine. And so he'll just see what is available and what people collect and will create something um, with his artistic vision. And we'll photograph it and share it and um, you know, it, it brings awareness to the um, issue of uh, there being so much pollution in the river. Um, 
and kind of seeing seeing the river through a different a different vision. So uh, does that Jackson, does that answer? <laughs> uh, yeah, it answers, but it left some more questions. So once he creates this out of the the repurposed you know litter, is it being left or is it then going to be collected? Well, typically when he creates his art at the Falls of the Ohio, he leaves it there. Um, but since this is a cleanup, well, I'll talk to him and I'm thinking if there's any unnatural materials that he's using, we'll take those with us. Well, that's all I've got. Okay. Okay. Uh, they're pretty uh, small usually too, Thomas, just so you know. But they're not like huge things. It's relatively smaller in size, you know. Right. There is a, uh, a, a nice little deal. We found a fair amount of styrofoam out there. This is, this is Al Gorman's, this is not ours, but we found a fair amount of styrofoam out there and this could have been created yesterday very easily. Uh, uh, and so it just sort of depends on what people want. And so, uh, but, the idea certainly would not be to have a permanent sculpture. It's going to get washed away. You no, know, it's like a public art. Uh, uh, Jessica Kane, any questions? Any thoughts? Nope. All good here, boss. Uh, Kenton, any any final thoughts? Good. Looking forward Lori? to it. Lori, any final thoughts? Uh, I'll eat two, I have two things. So um, just let me know when you'd like the bags I can drop them off at any time um there I have them ready so whenever you'd like them um I'm happy to bring those and then my second thing is on that press release I don't have a problem with making all of the agencies sort of points of contact for it but I would say um you need to identify a primary contact when you put out that press release and then sure. list everyone else for sure for sure that's all. Makes, makes total sense. And, uh, yeah, because you want to have someone for them to go to as like the, the leader of the information, and then they'll reach out to, to the others as needed. Uh, we plan on reaching out to Mayor Fisher to, 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 to welcome us and uh, see if he wants to go paddle with us. Do you have any issues with that? Uh, one nice thing, uh, I, I participated at a beautiful, wonderful brewery with Brightside, and turns out once a month now they have a sip and brew cleanup deal. And uh, uh, this next one coming up is in Portland. Uh, uh, and so sort of our same neck of the woods is our festival. And so we just hope to figure out how to promote all of these cleanups up and down the area. Uh, Susan, any uh, thoughts? Sure, um, just a couple of more. Um, First of all, if you'd like, I can bring um, a couple of boxes of um, like the big Costco size boxes of granola bars in case anybody has a little uh, blood sugar issue <laughs> uh, and needs a little uh, reinforcement. So I'll bring those. Um, also, if, there, if you are recommending any training for anyone, I know um, that it was uh, the Jefferson I'm not sure who it was mentioned um, training, but if if there is an opportunity to participate in that, um, that would be good to know. I might have already missed it, but I could share that with individuals. Um, we have a couple of people from Rotary who might be interested. Um, we've been partnering with the Rotary Club of Louisville. Their platform is clean water. And so this might be a good opportunity for them to join. So if there's a spot, um, remaining, I'll be happy to invite one of those and one or two of those individuals. Um, and then finally, um, I want to put a plug in for Kentucky Waterways Alliance is doing a cleanup of Harrods Creek on April 16th, and you can find that information on our website and Facebook page. So, you know, wonderful. welcome all of you. <laughs> How wonderful! The 16th, my backyard. I'll have to. <laughs> I'll have to see what I'm doing. Uh, uh, that's great, and, and I think if the Rotary wants to join us, I, I, I think that'd be great. You know, as we said, we had 45, and if we get all Metro Parks boats, which I hope we do, uh, the training you mentioned is April 28th and 29th, and that is through Metro Parks with, and, but it's focused on canoes. 
uh, for really correction there, David. It, it, it's actually it's March twenty eighth and twenty ninth. Oh. Sorry about that. Used to April. Just put a second. It's next week that we're doing it, not next and month. Cool. Um, and yeah, it is full right now. Unfortunately, we we had oh, it's great, but we have a we have a lot of people attending that training for for next week. So, but you know, maybe at some kind point down the road, and there really is not a need for training. Uh, but you know what? The whole notion of having additional river training is a good thing. It'd be a, a, a nice thing to do. Uh, John Nation, do you have anything else? All good. Mr. Skaggs, do you have anything else? Sorry. Um, no, I don't. Um, I'll, David, you have my cell phone number and Kenton. Mm -hmm. I just emailed my cell phone number. Um, if you need any type of planning for um, the emergency responders, let us know, and we'll definitely have um, first aid available to anybody that needs it. So. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Mayor Gahan with uh, uh, New Albany also said the fire department might be there with their boat, but uh, uh, he's not confirmed that with me yet. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm pretty close with uh, Chief Juliet. Um, so I will, uh, I'll reach out to him too next time in passing and see if they're going to plan on having any type of vessel. And that way we can coordinate uh, maybe different action plans with different locations. Perfect. You know, one thought with that and, you know, and I don't know with the Louisville Water Patrol is occasionally press are allowed to go on those public service boats or VIPs. If Susan has a Rotary Club president that wants to go on out and would rather not go in a canoe, uh, is there a chance that they could go on one of the uh, fireboats? Uh, we've had press before. Um, we'd have to really monitor the river conditions, you know, just to make For sure, because sure, that, that could be something day of we say yes or no to, um, but it's not out of the question. Um, so, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll try to accommodate uh, however we can and support your all's uh, your all's goals with this. This is a really good thing. It's in my backyard and it's in our response district. So uh, we really appreciate it. Um, and well, have you, uh, so with LMPD's response boat, um, typically we don't see them in that lower pool area. Um, so um, I'm not sure, but if you have a contact with them that you've talked to already, uh, please forward my information to them or, or vice versa. And, uh, I, I, I certainly will. Uh, and it's the Louisville, it's Sergeant Bate, Blakely is in charge now. And uh, uh, they do come down below uh, uh, the dam to the lower river occasionally, especially when Metro Parks has their big events there at the boat ramp and uh, uh, down at Greenwood Boat Dock in that area. But I will introduce you to Sergeant Blakely for sure. Sure. And um, also, too, you may want to make uh, some type of notification to Indiana Conservation. And the only reason I say that is when you get inside of the um, the Ohio Falls State Park, uh, that is an Indiana park and that is patrolled by Indiana Conservation. I can do that if you'd like me to. Just say, let them know, hey, we're out here. If you want to come down and have another piece of, uh, you know, another vessel on the water, it might be good. That would be great. We uh, welcome all... Uh, uh, first responder help. It just, you know, because also what it does is it gets all of these sponsors involved with and understanding the roles of of what you do for ensuring safety. So it's, you know, sure. that's what it's all about. I think as we, you know, what, what surprised me with this whole effort is the resurgence of interest in that whole Falls of the Ohio area, you know, with the new ramp there in Shawnee Park and uh, the new proposed stuff with New Albany and Origin, you know, we'll have three new boat ramps in one year for, for this area. It's just quite surprising. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me uh, on the on the Zoom meeting today. And if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Well, thank you for joining at such a late moment. Thank you, Kenton, for arranging it. Can I uh, leave anybody off for their final comments? Uh, Susan, even though you didn't volunteer, I'm, I'm going to recruit you to review the press release that Jessica and maybe I'll get Lori to help also so that we can fine tune it because it's just a good thing to have a common message. Sure, I'd be happy to. Well, thank you very much all for joining us. And today, uh, and my recommendation is 
turn your computers off and get outside. It's too pretty. Take care. Thank you very much. Thanks, David. See you later. Thanks, David. Thanks, Bye, -bye. David. Bye.